Show you what it do. Oh yeah, loco, escúchame bien. Si puedo lograr todo, pues tú puedes también. Ahora tengo carros, ahora tengo casas, ahora todo está fluido como sangre de la raza. Let me introduce you to the reason. What's up, family? Welcome back to another video. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sandy Kating, and I do travel videos. So, if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that like button because that's a way of supporting the channel. So, today I am in Mosquera, Cundinamarca, Colombia. Let's go. So I'm going to see what I can capture for you guys because you know we are still on lockdown here in Colombia and it seems like every month or every two weeks they keep extending the lockdown. So anyway I'm going to see what I can capture for you guys and bring you a little history. Mosquera is a tranquil town, um, I actually like the town and there are a lot of construction developments happening in the town at the moment um just like in the, the previous video madrid Cundinamarca or funza Cundinamarca, um it's a cheap alternative if you don't want to live in the capital city of bogota Mosquera is a municipality of Colombia in the Western Savannah province. It is one of 116 municipalities in the department of Cundinamarca. Mosquera is close to the capital Bogota and is part of its metropolitan area. The urban center of Mosquera is situated at an altitude of 2,516 meters, which is 8,255 feet on the Bogota Savannah. The municipality borders the localities Bosa and Fontibon of Bogota in the east, Soacha in the south, Madrid and Funza in the north, and Bojaca in the west. So right now this area that I'm walking to, oh wait, there we go, yeah man. So this area that I'm walking to is one of the major parks where you, where you can exercise, ride your bike, um, you know, bring your children and hang out. So because of the lockdown, the park is currently closed, so people are jogging and exercising around the perimeter of the park. So I'll show that for you guys right now
Mosquero was born on September 27, 1861. Mosquera is named after its founder, former president of Colombia, Thomas Cipriano de Mosquera, who in 1861 separated Mosquera from Funza. So now I'm in the downtown park, not the downtown, but the center park of the city. And behind me right here, this is Simon Boulevard. So I'll tell you a bit about him. He's very important in the country of Colombia itself. And right over here, we have Thomas C. Cipriano de Mosquera. And the town was actually named after this guy, right? So very interesting, man. Every town is named after somebody in particular to give homage to him. On September 27, 1861, the general Thomas Cipriano de Mosquera had taken power of the Republic Revolutionary Army and decided to separate four corners of the population from Funza. From there, the name Mosquera has received its own municipality thanks to the acting president, Thomas Cipriano de Mosquera. So let's go back in time and just as in my previous videos, Gonzalo Jimenez de Casada was the one who founded a lot of these towns. Gonzalo Jimenez de Casada arrived for the first time in the region and he decided to conquer all of the Bogota Sabana. Later he passed by Sipaquira, Guacheta, Suesca and Chia and he decided to pass by Suba and Funza which before during that time, Mosquera was part of the municipality of Funza. In the pre-Columbian period, the territory of Mosquera was inhabited by the Musica and the population of Mosquera during that time was originally called Cuatro Esquinas, which is the Four Corners and those were the Four Corners that was taken from Funza. Mosquera is close to Lake Herrera, a remnant lake of the large Pleistocene Lake Humboldt that existed on the Bogota savanna until approximately 30,000 years BP. The archaeological findings around Lake Herrera date to the pre-ceramic period predating the Herrera period named after the lake. The Musica established their civilization typically as of 800 AD. They were an advanced culture and performed agriculture on the high plains of the savanna. In the Musica times, Mice, potatoes, arrachacha, quinoa, sweet potatoes, yuca, peppers, tomatoes, beans, and pumpkins were cultivated in Mosquera. The Musica were predominantly farmers and traders and their economy was based on the extraction of salt from the northern parts of the Bogota savanna. Fruits and other agriculture products growing in different climates were traded on the frequent markets of the Musica. In Mosquera, pineapples, avocados, guanabanas, ice cream beans, pitayas, and guayabas were the fruits traded with warmer climates. Tobacco also came from more tropical regions while cotton was traded with the colder climate, lache. Funza, of which Mosquera formed the southern part 
until 1861 was founded by conquistador Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada, who arrived in the region on April 20, 1537. Presently, Mosquera is a satellite town of the capital Bogota and has grown significantly in recent years. So fam, um, this neighborhood over here, Mosqueda, is residential. Um, it's right off the main highway when you enter the town of Mosqueda. And once you come further back around this area, there's a lot of apartments. There's a school around here. It's an elementary school. A lot of apartments. And the apartments are mainly in complexes. So you have 24 hour security and it's nice you know on um, this area that i'm at right now is normally like a walk path where people can exercise they can get out enjoy themselves right in the comfort of their neighborhood so yeah man Now, one of the first religious groups to arrive in Mosqueda were the Salesianos. And the Salesianos arrived around 1903. And the leader of that group was Don Silvestre Rabagliati. This building right here is one of the oldest buildings in the town of Mosqueda. Um, and I think it symbolizes the town because if you, go if you Google search, Mosqueda, you, you probably find this building right here. But it's pretty cool. A lot of times they sell fruits and vegetables in the front. And a lot of people come in this grass area right here to walk their dogs, relax. You have a train track. And back here is a school. Cool school. Now let's talk about the Ferro Caril de Mosqueda which is also known as the Ferrocarril of the Bogota Sabana and is commonly known as the Train of the Sabana. Now this train station presented its services since 1889 between the Sabana and Bogota. It served as the expansion base for the rest of the country which and which was also under the administration of the Ferrocarriles Nacionales de Colombia. The construction of the ferrocarril from Bogota to Facatativa, passing by Fontibon, Funza, Mosquera, and Madrid, was contracted on 1873. And on 1917, it was inaugurated as the station that serves as the functioning point or central point of the Ferrero Nacional.
attraction over here is like a neighborhood and also on that area it's a cemetery so that's the cemetery for the town and this neighborhood consists of primarily houses townhomes to be exact for us in the u.s we say townhomes or in the uk and stuff you know townhomes but for latin america and stuff it's just a regular house for them but um yeah man this area is actually nice the construction of new homes over there i'll show you guys that and yeah man So the center park of Mosqueda is actually a cool place to be. They redid this park a while back and now it's just cool hangout spots. You got areas where you can sit down at right here. Um, you know, there's some people over there chilling. You can also walk around. And in this area is the major church, the primary church of the town, which is right over there. And also you have other municipality things of the town like you have the banks, you have mayor's offices and stuff like that. So it's quite nice, you know. There is much more to talk about in regards to Mosqueda, but I want to touch base on the church, the Parroquia de Maria Auxiliadora. With the arrival of the Salesianos in the beginning of the 20th century and the first months in the year 1905, the mayor of the town during that time, Venacio Jimenez, was in charge of the priest Mauricio Arato, which was the director of the house of the Salesiano. The construction of a church was beginning to progress within the population on the 4th of july within the same year they put a rock to identify the temple which now sits today and that building was to honor the virgin maria auxiliadora hence we have the church in the town known as iglesia maria auxiliadora which is part of the parroquias, and this is known as the Parroquia de Maria Auxiliadora. 